Hello YouTube and welcome back. Uh, so last time uh, we were here, uh, we were trying to get Beta 3 up into orbit, uh, more specifically this orbit, to go ahead and rescue Bill, Jeb and Bob, who have uh, now been stranded in space due to my gross incompetence and spamming the space bar rather than hitting the throttle button. And this is what our ship looks like. So just to give you an idea, outside of this being a normal shaped rocket, this bit may have caught your attention. This for all intents and purposes is a net designed to catch said rocket. Space is a big place so I need all the help I can get. Um, so that's, uh, yeah, that's the idea. So we're going to try and almost crash into it, but crash into it gently and slow it down and bring it back to Kerbin uh, safe and sound. That's the idea. So, of their stuff falling away and uh, say, so I think, hopefully, one day they, uh, they're they going to put an economic system in so that you can start to make this recoverable and I don't know whether or not it's asking a bit too much but then have sort of bases stationed around um, with helicopters and boats to go and recover parts which have landed at sea or something like that so the more you spend on those sorts of things um, the the more money you save and you get given money to uh, complete mission objectives uh, just um, yeah quite a a, a, a little uh, finance system that would be quite interesting. So it just looks like we're just about to start um, start to complete the orbit and then we'll get to the North Pole, we'll turn and looks like this is the last, there uh, we go, the last tank of fuel so. so then we'll turn and we'll get onto that orbit and then slowly try and crash into them and slow them down and recover them. So, tiny little rocket here, so the uh, speed's starting to pick up a bit, but that fuel should last us a good long while. Um, it's probably a good thing because, uh, I'm not sure why, but that seems to have slowed down a little bit. I might just pop a two times warp on it and Just see if we can speed things up a touch. Doesn't seem to be having a great deal of impact. But we're speeding up quite nicely anyway. That might have, might have something to do with the fact that uh, we're coming down. But gravity shouldn't really be taking that much of a hold at this sort of height, if any. Let's see if we can... Oh, we can't get... Uh, can't get any more, but yeah, it looks okay. So it looks like we're just about to come into it. Maybe if this if this rocket doesn't work, um, then what I'll do is drop another couple of tanks onto one of those earlier stages, and uh, try and just give it a bit more pep. And maybe not get quite as high as this, because I mean, two. So what's that? I reckon that'd be about two thirty. I've forgotten what it is, but. Um, so as far as height goes, we're actually not a million miles away from where we need to be. Um, but yeah, we'll just try and get those two lines to meet as for at least 50% of the journey, but then one of them needs to be on a different path that's somewhere else. And I think that's actually probably going to be easier to do than, uh, than actually get them lined up in the first place. There we go. Let's just have a quick look and see how we're doing. So we're almost through one entire tank already. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I think I think we might just go with an abort on this one because it doesn't look like there's enough fuel to uh, to get there and achieve everything that we want to do. So we'll put some extra fuel on it, and um, we'll uh, we'll come back. So just I think just maybe. I, three more tanks, so one at this stage and two at the second and third stage second and third major stage uh, and maybe look at getting rid of those solid fuel burners in exchange for those liquid fuel so um, again I'm going to pause and we'll be back in one moment 
Okay everyone, hello and welcome back, and uh, as you can see, we are just about to touch back down on Kerbin there. In fact, actually, funny thing, um, I was recording a second ago and realised that I hadn't turned my mic back on, and so I had to restart. But as we detached from that stage, the cockpit got away from... Um, got away from the... sorry, the command module got away from the, the net, as it were, and nearly crashed into the the uh, command module so it was nearly an aborted launch followed by another disaster catastrophe which i don't know health and safety in the real world would have probably put a cap onto the the, the casa would they be i don't know the uh, kerbal uh, space uh, space division space program so, we'll touch down now then, and um, go back to the build bay, quickly add a couple of a couple more cylinders of fuel, remove the um, solid fuel burners, and save the game, and that will probably be it for today, and then we're going to relaunch uh, in the next episode, and uh, have, have uh, one more crack at uh, rescuing them. If... It doesn't work then, I might break my own rules because I don't think, as far as uh, footage goes, it's going to be too entertaining watching me do this over and over and over again. And that is most likely what it's going to wind up becoming. So if that doesn't work, then we'll strip the stupidness off the top of it. And uh, so it'll go on a bit of a crash diet, no pun intended. And then we will do a more sensible run to the moon that Alpha 1 was supposed to do before, as I say, disaster struck. Uh, I'm just going to pop. I think we'll add another tank at this stage as well. Oh, that's still got the half tank on it. Oh, no, I didn't remove it out of this game. That's why. So, yeah, it's got that half tank of fuel on there. Um, I want to get rid of that because that's ridiculous. Um, we'll, so, this has actually had two and a half new, uh, uh, one and a half tanks put on it rather than two, or rather than the one it was going to get. Let's get that. So we'll strengthen this. So don't forget, at any point you can um, get in touch with me, let me know uh, what you want me to play, how you want me to play it, if, um, if uh, you uh, want to have a look at my welcome video, that will give you a library of the games that I've got um, and uh, <laughs> there's also a, a brief introduction as to how good I am at each of them and uh, so this is now going to be beta 4 whoops got a caps lock on 4 I'll save that and uh, yeah feel free to subscribe and um, comment on the uh, on the videos and rate as well um, so next time Beta 4, without toppling over, will be launched on the rescue mission. So, uh, thanks very much for watch watching, and uh, don't forget to join me then.